So here we're going to run through a primer on gross anatomy or the respiratory system. Uh, here are the key uh, tutorials we'll go through. We'll skip the histology and the embryology, which is available elsewhere on the site. We're going to start with an overview of the respiratory system. Namely, we're going to differentiate these conducting portion, which conducts airflow, and the respiratory portion, which facilitates gas exchange. So here are some outlined structures with the sinuses included. Here are the key structures of the respiratory system, nasal cavity, pharynx, uh, larynx, and then the tracheobronchial tree, and then the lung parenchyma uh, itself. So we'll start with the conducting portion, uh, conducts airflow all the way from nasal cavity down here into these terminal bronchioles, and then we set up the respiratory uh, portion, uh, starting with the respiratory bronchial right here, alveolar duct coming down, alveolar sac, and the alveoli themselves. So uh, going from top to bottom, we'll start with the upper respiratory tract. Um, here are the key structures. Nose is the entryway, nasal cavity with its olfactory cells we'll point out, and then these different passageways and the pharynx, and then the tonsils for immunologic function. This we just point out a quick schematic to show what's the point of the palate. Well, it prevents uh, regurgitation of food and liquid from the nasal cavity into the, I'm sorry, from the oral cavity into the nasal cavity. And an important clinical pearl is that in uvulopalatal pharyngoplasty, one of the key potential side effects is regurgitation from things from the oral cavity into the nasal cavity. Um, so here's the nasal cavity. Uh, these conchi are pointed out, superior, middle, and inferior, and then the olfactory cells uh, we bring to attention. Uh, the pharynx itself, uh, defined as passageways that lie posterior to the cavity or structure, that's how they're named. This is the nasopharynx, oropharynx, and laryngopharynx, uh, easily named there. And then we add in the tonsils. Again, think about them for immunological function. Uh, tonsillitis and enlarged tonsils can uh, obstruct airflow, uh, especially when breathing, causing sleep apnea. So that's why uvulopalatal pharyngoplasty uh, is often performed. Larynx um, conducts air from pharynx to trachea, keeps food and liquid out of the lower respiratory tract. Aspiration is a key cause of pneumonia. We see that in stroke patients. Uh, so it's really important to have good integrity of the larynx and it facilitates speak, speech production. With laryngitis, you can get swelling uh, manifesting with hoarseness, but can also lead to airway obstruction. So here is our larynx uh, in superior view. Looking down on it here, we've pointed out the vocal ligament, which is the true vocal cord, and then the vestibular ligament, which is the false vocal cord. Uh, here it is in sagittal view with the laryngeal prominence. We talk about thyrohyoid musculature and the muscle anatomy. Well, here's the thyrohyoid membrane here. Um, the, ca the cartilages, there's nine total. Uh, start with the ones that are just singular. Uh, here's the thyroid cartilage, the epiglottis, uh, and then the cricoid cartilage. That's in sagittal. And then we also have it here in axial view. And then we have our paired ones, meaning there's one on each side. So here's the cuneiform, corniculate, and the retinoid uh, cartilages. Moving on to the tracheobronchial tree itself. So some key structures, obviously starting with the trachea. Here we have it in cross-sectional anatomy here. Here's our trachea coming down. And then, um, well, we quickly divide the lobes of the lung. Uh, on, the, on the right side, we have superior, middle, and inferior. And then on the left side, we have superior and inferior. And we'll look at that in more detail uh, in a moment. Uh, but jumping into the bronchi, so here's the primary bronchus that enters the lungs, a secondary serves the lobes, so often called lobar, tertiary uh, serves the bronchopulmonary segments, uh, so it's called segmental, uh, and then the bronchioles uh, lined with smooth muscle terminal bronchioles end this conducting portion here, and then we jump into the respiratory bronchioles. They have thinner walls, and they start the respiratory uh, portion of the, uh, the respiratory system. So they have these alveolar ducts, and then the alveoli with, uh, surrounded by this alveolar sac. And then here we show uh, pulmonary capillaries to reinforce the idea that there's 
uh, gas exchange uh, happening within the lungs. Uh, here we compare it to a bunch of grapes uh, as the alveolar sac, a single grape is an alveolus, and then the stem is this alveolar duct. Uh, key clinical correlations, lung cancer often arises from lining of the bronchi, and then pulmonary embolism involves an obstruction of this pulmonary arterial tree. Uh, there is an inability to perform normal gas exchange. Finally, the lungs and pleural membranes, um, again, facilitates gas exchange between the body and the environment. Um, so here are the lungs, we've separated them into their lobes here. Uh, the lungs reach the first rib at the apex and at the base uh, they reach uh, the diaphragm. So on the right we have superior, middle, and inferior separated by this horizontal fissure and this oblique fissure here. And then on the left we have superior and inferior separated by the oblique fissure. And then we have this uh, cardiac notch. And it's just a helpful mnemonic to think the heart reduces lung volume so the left has two lobes uh, instead of uh, three. Uh, finally, this pleural sac uh, has a parietal pleura here, pleural cavity, and a visceral pleura. This anatomy is key for understanding uh, pneumothorax, which we uh, discuss elsewhere on the site. Finally, sagittal view, some of this art arterial vasculature, uh, the oblique fissure here, uh, and, then, and then we point out the cardiac impression. So that concludes our primer on the respiratory system. Not a ton of information there, but some really key anatomy for understanding clinical medicine.